Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new unboxing video. Today we're going to unbox these four stunning models. All of them one of a kind. We're going to unbox the Airbus Beluga XL, the Dreamlifter of Boeing, a Boeing 747-8 freighter with the interactive series of Gemini jets and an Antonov 1 4 from Volga Schnepper. And yeah, let's start with the first model. The first model is this Beluga XL, a number three um, from GC Wings. Um, absolutely amazing model. The front cargo door can open up as well. So it will give an extra touch to the to the model. Um, this is the back of the box with the specifications in the right hand corner over here. You can uh, pause the video if you want to read them. Um, so yeah, let's unbox the first model. This is a little door, um, the open version of the Beluga. Uh, we'll set it aside and we'll check it out in a minute. And this is the airplane itself. Amazing, just a stunning model. Let's get into the details uh, in just a second. So here is the model, just absolutely stunning model, super detailed for GC wings. Um, nothing to complain about, as I see from over here, nothing to see. Completely amazing model. Um, yeah, let's look at the cargo door. So you slide this piece out. It has anti-slip at the bottom, so be careful when you um, open it. Um, this is the inside. I will focus on it. Um, some small details. I witness here that it has a tendency to tip over, as you can see. So be aware of that when you buy yours. Um, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. As you can see, like I, I have to support it. So maybe if I put the cargo door on it, it may um, stay in its normal position. Let's try. It stays on, but as you can see, the nose wheel is just lifted off the ground a little bit. So for now, um, here's the view. Uh, let's uh, put the closed door in it. It's metal. It's super heavy, so it will stay on that way. Let's put this aside for now. Let's get in this detail. Um, let's start from the front of the airplane. Uh, you can see the uh, wheels eye, blue guy eye. Um, the cockpit windows are not clearly visible, but you know where they they uh, are over here. Uh, the front nose wheel. Um, let's move on to the fuselage. The Airbus Beluga XL. Logo, engine number one. And moving on to the back of the aircraft, you have the traditional Airbus uh, tail colors. And on the top of the horizontal stabilizer, you have a little, little, little detail about the XL and the number three. So this is the bottom of the aircraft, otherwise known as the belly, with the Beluga logo on it, the front landing gear, the main landing gear, the two uh, engines, and the registration beneath the left wing. So let's move on to the next aircraft. So this is the uh, Boeing Dreamlifter, otherwise known as the Boeing 747-400 Lima Charlie Foxtrot. Um, it's also from GC Wings and it has just a normal box with the specifications on the back. Let's unbox this model. So here's the model out of the box. Um, as well as the Beluga from GC Wings, uh, nothing to complain about. Just a little side note is that this cargo door doesn't open, so be aware of that. On this special freighter, the door opens from the back and it will turn this way. So the wings or other parts of the fuselage can be loaded into the back of this Dreamlifter. So the front of the aircraft is just a regular Boeing 747. Uh, with the Boeing logo on it in the front door. On the right side of the front door you can see that it is operated by Atlas Air and not by Boeing itself. Um, and this is the middle of the uh, fuselage with the Dreamlifter logo. I will zoom a little bit out so you can see it better. The two engines on the left side, also known as the engine number one and engine number two. This 747 does not have winglets 
and this is the back of the aircraft with just a bluish tail. This is the belly of the aircraft, um, just the main gear and the nose wheel. No registration beneath the wing, that's strange, but uh, yeah, this is the belly. So the next model is this uh, Cargo Lux uh, 747-8 freighter in the interactive series of Gemini Jets and with the Not Without My Mask special livery, um, the back of the box is just a normal, normal one. So normally the model will be inside here, but I already took it out to check if all the parts were, were there. And over here, this is the inside with the specifications and the little story behind the aircraft and all the information. So you can pause if you want to read that. Let's get to the model. So this is the model out of the box. I already configured it in the open door uh, configuration with the nose door is open, the main deck cargo door is open and on the other side you have the two cargo doors on the lower deck. So here you can see on the other side the two uh, cargo doors on the lower deck. So one in the front and one in the back. And yeah, let's get in this uh, detailed uh, view we always do. So let's start in the front with the nose door, the Cargo Lux uh, name and the Not Without My Mask uh, titles. The rest of the fuselage is just a regular um, 747-8 fader of Cargo Lux, except that the cargo door on the main deck opens. And in front you have the two uh, engines, engine number one and two. So this is the belly of the aircraft with the Gemini Jets logo and the Cargo Lux uh, titles. And for the rest you can see the uh, registration beneath the left wing. So the final aircraft we are going to unbox is this Gemini Jets uh, Volga Dnepr. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Antonov 124-100. So the box you can see over here, um, just a normal Gemini Jets box and the inside look. Here you can see the aircraft. And here you can see the information on the inside of the specifications and the story behind it. You can pause it if you want to read it. Um, so yeah, let's start the unboxing. So here you can see the model out of the box. Um, absolutely amazing, stunning model. I really wanted to have this model for a very long time. And I was very happy that Gemini Jets released it a couple of months ago. So I got my hands on one. And uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about this model and the airplane itself. Um, I think it's really cool. A small detail that catched my eye was that the right wing is, as you can see, a little bit higher than the left wing over here. Um, I measured it and the left wing is three millimeters uh, lower than the right wing. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing about Gemini jets. But yeah, it's clearly visible and yeah, for the rest, I don't really care, but yeah, it's a pity. So starting in the front of the aircraft, you have the AN124-100 titles, the cockpit above the uh, nose door uh, which sadly doesn't open behind the nose door we have the Volga Schnepper uh, logo slash title the front door also known as the L1 door um, engine number one and two and moving on to the back of the aircraft I will move it a little bit up like this we have the registration and I don't know what it says but it's something Russian I guess um, correct me if I'm wrong and the beautiful tail. So this is the belly of the aircraft with the registration beneath the wings and the engines and the two front landing gear and a lot of wheels on its main gear. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you really liked this review video of these four stunning airplanes. As you can see in the left hand corner, you see a Cessna 172. Also from Gemini Jets, I will make a review video about that model in couple of days and I will post it on my channel as soon as possible. So let me know what your favorite model is and for now see you next time. Bye!